Hey everyone, Ted here, Eagle Cap Outdoors. Welcome to our YouTube channel and welcome to the 2022 Game Bag Review. This year we've got a great lineup. We did a Game Bag Review two years ago. It's on our website right now, but it's coming down because the new one's going up. And two years ago, Caribou Gear Magnum Pack Game Bags it was the top shelf game bag from our review for elk. And there are game bags out there for deer, elk, caribou, moose, you name it, there's a game bag for it. We focus this review on elk. And so before I dive in, I just want to invite you to subscribe to our channel. That way, when we put out more reviews where we're comparing products or looking at a, at a specific product, you'll get notified and then you can actually see the review Then you can decide if you want to go check out more details on our website. So here we go. Here's the lineup. We've got here, I'm just going to go through them real quick. This is just an old canvas bag that um, we used for many years. This is one of the uh, cheesecloth style bags. The Born and Raised game bag set. This is the Kuyu game bag. Here we have Kifaru. They came out with a, a game bag just this last year. This is the Caribou Gear game bag. Ovis Sacks. This is last year, or this is the game bag set that they have had for quite some time. They just came out with a brand new game bag, ultra light. Be fun to talk about that one. We also have Argali. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that properly, but uh, the Argali uh, set of game bags. Argali comes in a this is a large game bags. It comes in a in a full set, um, just like the Elk Caribou Gear does. You can also get I think the Ova Sacks in a full set. A lot of these come in full sets. The Born and Raised comes in a full set. I know the Kuyu. You can only buy one at a time, but you can buy four quarters on the site as well as some others. We also are going to dive into bone out bags. And we use these this year in New Mexico. We've got the tag bags and we've got Graxos bags. So we're gonna dive into this, try not to take too much of your time. Hopefully you enjoy it. And like I said, subscribe so you get future reviews sent your way. So we're gonna start with the canvas bag. And these are giant bags, as you can see. I mean, this thing will fit any elk quarter that I think you can imagine. It almost looks like it's, it's made for three or four elk quarters. This is thick canvas material. It's not going to allow much in terms of penetration of bugs and uh, flies and that kind of stuff. But what you get with this is also a very heavy game bag. And so not many people use these anymore unless you're hunting at out of a camp and you can go grab your elk, get it into one of these big old giant game bags and hang it up and you don't care about you don't care about uh, weight at all. So that's the old canvas style. Next we have the cheesecloth and you know these are very stretchy. So you can essentially hold the quarter up and then peel these, you know, roll these cheese, cheesecloth game bags onto a quarter. As you can see, this one's fairly used. I used these for many years before I switched to some of the uh, other materials. This is great, but it does allow flies and bugs and other stuff to penetrate. This is pretty thin. Uh, the, the cheesecloth is pretty thin and when it gets stretched out, it is more porous. You can actually see through it. So that's one concern if you're going to hang your meat for any amount of time. Not sure I would go with this style. Now next we have, this comes in a whole set. Um, I don't know if I have all of them up here, but they've got different sizes. So you can see, you know, this is uh, probably uh, loose meat. Uh, these are the born and raised game bags. Now this, this one has a drawstring on it, so no, uh, no zipper, but 
Born and Raised, just came out with these game bags. You can see it says meat bag on it. It has a zipper. You can unzip this bag, lay the bag open, lay the quarter down on it, which we did this year, and then just zip the quarter up into the game bag. And one thing I really like about these game bags, they're, the material is super strong. Uh, one, they're uh, kind of different color than most of them. Uh, with this darker material, the the fact that you can unzip this thing makes it extremely helpful if you're by yourself. Now it may also it also makes it helpful. We used them when we had more than one guy together um, after a kill, and we still use these. Opened them up, made it a lot easier to lay the quarter down and zip it up. There's a great strong drawstring on this, so you can hang your quarter up in the tree. We hung ours for several days, and um, and these things, these bags, they're thick enough. They're super lightweight, by the way, for having a zipper, super lightweight. But they, you don't get blood coming through the bag. Now, imagine if it's a if it's a very, you know, if you had a very bloody piece of meat, you probably would. But most of your typical elk quarters, we didn't get blood coming through the bag. You know, they've got. Um, little uh, tabs that you can tie things off on. So the, this, this game bag, is, I think, is amazing. Now it's also, this set of game bags, I think is the most expensive set of game bags on the market. But when you put innovation like this into a game bag, you gotta expect that it's gonna cost more. So anyway, you can get a lot more details on the website about the weight of these, the cost, the different materials. I'm just trying to whet your appetite in terms of what we have. Now this is the Kuyu game bag, and these are actually pretty large game bags. You can see they've got a, they come with a, a tie, so you can hang it up in the tree, which we've done, and you know, they've got the Kuyu logo on them. We've got this orange band, and the bag actually sewn on each side so you don't have a seam down the middle. This is very strong material, also thick enough to keep bugs, flies, and, and other things out. Keep your meat clean, but also you're not going to have a lot of blood seeping through this bag. It's a big quarter bag too. Now next up we have the Kifaru bag. Now this is a good looking bag. It doesn't, uh, it's not quite as big as the, as the, uh, Kuyu bag also comes with a drawstring, and then you can pull it down if you want. You know, there's there's hooks and there, there's things that come off the bag that you can tie things to. Uh, they've got the Kifaru label. This is an elk quarter bag. Very strong double stitching. This material is is actually fairly thick. Um, it's going to keep the blood inside the bag, so it's not going to get all over your pack, but it's also going to keep flies and bugs and stuff out. So it's a great game bag. Uh, Kifru did an awesome job. So this is last, or two years ago when we did this review, this was the top shelf game bag. And you can see Caribou Gear, they, sit, they provide you a whole pack of stuff and you know you pay for it this is a large quarter bag and you know so if you need to get a quarter into a into a game bag and you're not super concerned about the added you know ounce or two that you're going to get with these bigger bags this is a great way to go it's not hard to fit a very large elk quarter into a bag this big you've got these um, fluorescent tabs that you can tie off and uh, you know, it also has reflectors. Most all these bags have some sort of reflector so that if you're at night, if you flash your light at it, you'll see where the meat is and uh, you can check it out. So this comes in a bunch of different sizes as well. The, I'm gonna, I'm gonna skip the, the, that Ovis sack right now. This is their, kind of their, what I call more their traditional Ovis sack game bag, has a reflector strip. It's a pretty straightforward bag, has a, has a tie string, plenty strong to hold your quarter up in a tree. It's not as big, you can see it's not as big as the, um, as the caribou, 
or the Kuyu. Great logo on the front. Pretty standard bag. Uh, nothing too fancy, uh, but it does the job. I've had, I've used uh, these for several elk quarters. And now, as I was doing this review, I found that Black Ovis came out with a brand new Opus Sax game bag. Now this thing is unlike everything else because it's red, but it's also has a little bit of spandex in it. So it has some stretch to it, which allows that to stretch around that quarter. Now it's also a pretty decent sized bag, but it's super lightweight. So you've got a drawstring on this that brings it in, and the same material as that other um, that, they, that they put out. Uh, so it pulls in nice. You also have the reflector tab on the bottom. Beautiful logo on this thing. You almost hate to get it dirty, but it's uh, it's red, so you're not going to tell if the blood seeps through. Given this material, I think it's going to do a fairly good job of uh, keeping the flies and, and gnats and stuff out and, and away from the meat or off the meat. It's also going to breathe. Uh, because of the nylon and the spandex and it's it, it's certainly strong enough and, and thick enough that it'll keep the blood in so great job Opus Sax very impressed with that we've got the Argali bags now Argali um, has a, a fairly standard looking bag uh, like a, almost like the Opus Sack has the reflector tabs also has the drawstring you know this material is uh, feels like a um, almost like a uh, I don't know like a parachute uh, material or something. It's it's very soft and smooth. Uh, you've got some tabs that you can tie off on. Uh, you, you can probably see that Ardali uh, logo on it. It's a great bag. We've used these bags. It, they have their quarter bags for elk, and then they have their meat or their uh, loose meat bags. We've used these and they do a great job. They're lightweight, uh, they're easy to clean. You know, this thing's already, it's been used, but pretty much all the uh, stain came out of it uh, in the wash. The, I think I mentioned before, Ali does actually give you, uh, you can get a whole set. And so that's nice. That way you just put it all in a bag, it goes into your pack and there you go. When it comes to bone-out bags, this is the Graxaw set of bone-out bags, and there's enough, the, there's enough bone-out bag, enough capacity in this bone-out bag kit to bone out a full-size elk and get it all in here. So you take all the bone, all the meat off the bones, put it in these little pouches, and you know you try to try to spread them out a little bit and, and it does a great job. Now this is super light and this is for the ultra backpacker that's not gonna wanna bring out a, a full quarter. One thing I would say is we, we hung these in, in the trees in New Mexico. We had them off and on horses. We did have a couple spots where, um, where the bag got a, a tiny hole in it because this material is so thin. So you have to be careful about that but I love these things. They're super light and, uh, and they, they did a great job in New Mexico. So last but not least, we have a, another set of bone out bags and this is the tag bag. There is a whole set of, of, of bags in this thing. Just like the other, you know, you've got different size meat bags. These are bone out bags. Um, I don't know, I think there's uh, they might have some that, yeah, there's one that, you know, like you put your back straps in these. So these are designed, this kit comes all together and it's designed to hold a full elk boned out. So there you have it, folks. Now, one thing that we do at Eagle Cap Outdoors, we like to say what the top shelf game bag is for 2022. Now, we actually do say that but I'm not going to tell you right now. You have to go to our website, read the review, and there you'll get more details about all these bags. You'll get some information on where to buy the bags, and you'll also get our input on 
which bag this year is the top shelf game bag for 2022. So visit our website at www.eaglecapoutdoors.com. And like I said before, subscribe to our channel. You'll get more review content. Thank you for watching this and we appreciate you visiting our channel. Until next time, cheers and God bless.